Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're doing great. So today morning, I made a tweet that I'll be personally mentoring 100 CP beginners for free. And the response from you guys was definitely shocking for me. Like within 20 minutes, more than 100 retweets were there. And also all the available slots were booked. I tried increasing the number of slots to 150, but even that got booked in another 10, 20 minutes. So now the problem becomes that since that ti uh, time, I'm getting a lot of DMs that there are a lot of people who want to enroll for this mentorship program, but they definitely can't because we don't have the slot. And also it goes against my ethics because I've been trying to promote free education for all. And if I just limit m uh, myself to those 100 people, then what about the remaining people? Hence, I've been thinking of some alternative that we can uh, come up with because the problem now over here becomes that if I extend a program to maybe like a thousand or two thousand people, then I won't be able to personally mentor each one of them. And they like this course would definitely lose its utility, right? So what I've planned is that the hundred or 150 people, the number of slots over there won't increase. So for that, we do have a channel over here and the channel is new coders. So I've created a private channel and the number of slots over here is not going to increase. But whatever I'm going to teach them, I'm also going to record or I'm also going to make a video out of it and I'll post it on YouTube. The quality of the content would remain the same. So essentially you will be learning the same things as these peeps would be studying. The only difference would be that I would be giving them personal mentorship and I definitely won't be able to give personal mentorship to every one of you. But uh, you can be assured that the quality of the content would be good and it's definitely going to help you out. Now, what about, uh, you know, getting a help if you ever want that. So for that, the server is going to be useful. I'm not sure if you are a part of this server. If you aren't, then let me just give you an overview. So this is the section that is DSCP doubts. So people come and post a lot of problems over here, like whatever they are facing doubts in. For example, this is the doubt uh, Raghav posted like one, uh, one hour ago. So if you open it up, then he posted the problem and you can see that uh, people are actually helping him, right? So you'll see multiple people trying to help Rakov and they all just help for free just for the fun of it. And yeah, we also have advanced uh, doubt section that is for hardware problems. Also, if you are ever in doubt that you have a profile and you're not able to understand why you aren't able to grow, you basically need a review for it. So you can just post your profile over here. I or someone else would probably uh, look at your profile and give you some good suggestions. For example, this person over here, Devanshu Sharma, posted his profile yesterday. Helped me to shine my profile in blue area. So we uh, gave him the right advice because I've also, also seen his uh, profile and it was the right advice for him to solve 1300 1500 problem. Yeah, that's uh, that's about the server. So this server can definitely help. Whatever I'll be teaching these folks, I'll also be making videos and uploading them on YouTube so you can uh, watch the same content. Let's come back to the point what the course is. So this is the Accord Daily CP course and this is for total beginners. Let's try to understand what all it would cover. So the very first two topics would be related to the language you're going to use. So it would be basics of C++. At least that's what I'm going to teach or any language you prefer. If you want to learn any other language, you can just Google the things up or search on YT. I'm pretty sure you'll be uh, you'll be able to find tons of resources and STL. So I think uh, your CP journey or even your DSA journey would fall short if you're not going to learn STL properly. So these are the two things that you should do at the very beginning. Now, what I'm uh, what I'm thinking is that most of the people who have even enrolled for this course or my assumption is that most of the people who will be watching this video would already be familiar with the basics of C++ and STL. So this is something I don't want to emphasize a lot of time on, right? I'll be assuming that you know this, but in case you don't, then I already have the videos uh, on, on this channel itself, on the YouTube channel. You can go through them. And I've tried covering the basics of C++ as well as STL in just two videos, both of length, one hour each. So it shouldn't be a, a big effort, right? And you can definitely go through them. Then on 1st of January, the rest of the uh, course would start. So the very uh, first topic we are going to cover is mathematics. Maths is too very essential when you are uh, talking of CP. You might miss a bit of it in DSA and still be good with it. But uh, in CP, there's uh, no way around, right? You'll have to do maths. So I'm going to cover the basics of maths in two to three videos. I'll be covering almost every topic you'll need uh, till specialist or till expert. So this includes primality testing, then LCM, G, uh, GCD, modular arithmetics, etc. So there are a lot of topics and I'll try to cover all of them in two to three videos at max. And after that, there's complexity analysis, then sorting, sorting and searching. So there are a lot of so sorting algorithms, but I'm probably going to concentrate on two of them. One is the very easy one. That is the bubble sort. That's literally the brute force approach. And the other could be either quick sort or merge sort. Then we'll be talking of bit ops or bitwise operations. This would just cover the basics. It won't cover bit masking and stuff because that's uh, 
you know that's a bit intermediate level and not a beginner level thing so i'll be covering the basics of uh, bitwise operations then greedy algorithms this is a big topic this might take some days to cover but we'll definitely do it then prefix sums then sliding window now when i say sliding window i automatically assume uh, two pointers to be a part of it or you can say other way around most uh, a lot of people take these two as different totally different topics i try to club these two so when i'm saying sliding window you can assume that i'm talking sliding window as well as two pointers uh, then binary search definitely one of the most important topics for beginners uh, and then recurs uh, recursion and dfs so when i'm saying dfs i definitely don't mean uh, graphs now one way of traversing the graphs is definitely dfs but dfs is more than that right so dfs uh, when you are just using a function and you are recurs uh, recursively calling it even you uh, you can actually call it a way, a way of uh, doing dfs right so these are the topics if you are doing th uh, these in uh, you know good detail and you are practicing a lot and lot of problems then you definitely would be able to become a specialist now i also initially had some you know doubts about it that uh, whether i'm being biased or would this topics be sufficient so i can assure you that a lot of people consulted regarding this are cm and above so cm m and im basically candidate master master and international master and they all agreed that these topics should be good enough there are a couple of topics that are a bit uh, fringe at this particular level for example dpn graphs and i truly believe that you won't be actually requiring a lot of dpn graph to reach to a specialist level and it's not that we are not going to teach those topics we are but for the first phase these are the topics that we are going to cover and the way we'll be doing it is that i'll teach a topic so for the people who are in the mentorship program i might teach the uh, teach this topic myself and for other uh, others of you who are not in the mentorship program you will definitely be able to watch the videos on youtube right if you have a doubt in in the topic you can obviously ask on the server right the server is open for you so you can ask the doubts over here and then you, uh, there would be a lot of problems that would be given along with the topics so i would require you guys to solve those problems on your own and if you have doubts even in those problems then feel free to ask them as well and this way we will be covering all of these topics now the amount of time that would require to cover all of these topics should be around 1 to 2 months but again i would like to keep it at a pace that you guys would like so if majority of you feel that i'm teaching too fast i'll uh, bring down this uh, pace a bit if majority of you think that i can uh, you know speed things up then we can do it even faster but i uh, generally think that 1 to 2 months should be good enough so yeah that's pretty much about this uh, course uh yeah guys uh, i don't really have anything else to say but if you have any suggestions or recommendations you can definitely comment down below and if there's any other way i could uh, you know help you in your own cp journey or educational stuff definitely let me know more than happy to help you out i'll be mentioning twitter and discord, uh, discord in the video or in the comment section feel free uh, free to follow that uh, follow that and you can definitely subscribe to my channel because uh, i'm going to upload all these videos over there itself cool guys thanks a lot for sticking till then hope you found this useful bye bye